Howdy folks, Doc here with Glass Best Tool. And I'm gonna go into these Craftsman sets, the old Made America ones, but first I wanted to catch up on a couple of things. I uh, went into uh, a Harbor Freight because that was actually the place where you can get this Evapo Rust, and that's what um, almost a majority of you suggested I use to clean up those Mac files that I got. So I'm gonna try this thing. And while I was there, I was asking the employee about some of the different products that weren't branded Harbor Freight and CRC was a chemical company and they said, well, they sort of, I don't know, bought or own it or something. Um, I'm sure somebody can jump in with some more specifics, but they actually said that there were a lot of companies that they were working with that what it seemed like was working with means owns a share of um, and that allows them to continue maintaining kind of the existing branded name of the product without having to kind of harbor freight it. Um, so that was sort of interesting. And I'm glad a few of you noticed I was updating my my air mallet here. Um, I had to put some more uh, Teflon tape on that seal because it was actually leaking, especially when you know there was any lateral force. Wood just doesn't make a very good seal for air. Um, but anyway, uh, so what do we got? We have got some cases of Craftsman Tool, little plastic cases. Now, somebody had mentioned, actually several people had mentioned that when I did the um, kind of the small wrench um, video that they also had some Craftsman. And I've got a, a couple of sets of these things, of these little tiny Craftsman wrenches. This might be the smallest here. It's a 730 seconds, maybe, or... Yeah, I think that's the smallest in this set. Um, however, the snap-on one go goes even smaller. You know, here's one eighth. Um, but what happens is that the um, the Craftsman sets were sold like as ignition wrench sets, and they were all made in the USA. Of course, there are overseas ones now. But what's interesting is these are, were available all over the place because a lot of people had them. They came in tool sets. You know, they, but a lot of people didn't use them. They were too small or, or real specialty tools. And the whole Made in America thing wasn't necessarily branded as a gigantic plus because there wasn't another option. Made in America was the default. Now, of course, that's different. So what happens is the, these Made in America sets are commanding a pretty penny on, on um, aftermarket sites like eBay and Facebook Marketplace, etc. And that's not quite the same, but close with the Craftsman Hex sets, which are, of course, you have to read a little closer, made in the USA. Um, this is the SAE version. Uh, they're great. They've always held up. I've used tons of them. Sometimes I would mark certain ones that, you know, I used the most or had specific needs for. Um, here's the metric set. I've got several of these. Again, way down in the fine print, made in the USA, sold by Sears. Um, some of these I may have bought originally back in the uh, 80s and 90s. Um, and if you look really close, every one of them is listed right there with the size um, and the craftsman name. Unfortunately, um, these are also starting to command quite a bit, even though they're a craftsman tool that, I mean, a set like this might have been less than 10 bucks. Um, I don't remember on these what they used to be. Somebody might know, might remember, but they were not very much when you could just walk into a store and buy them. Now, uh, they're, they're very expensive. I won't even guess at what people are asking for or even selling them for on eBay, but they are great wrenches. If you want a set of teeny weeny wrenches, they're certainly less expensive than the snap-ons, but they're not finished quite as well. But that really, as some um, commenters pointed out, doesn't matter as much because you just simply can't generate the leverage on a small fastener. Uh, and as was mentioned, you'd probably break the fastener long before you'd ever break the wrench. Um, and then this one here, I don't know if they're still making this. It's kind of a, a neat little uh, tool if they are. It's a um, Craftsman USA. Um, what this is, is a little, fits nice in the hands, a little triangular uh, reversible hex bit driver. I just put a, a, um, a hex uh, extension in it, but of course you can also put anything else, including a quarter inch to run this as a spinner. And then it's got a little flip lever. Um, I don't remember what the tooth count is. I don't know if it says, I long since got rid of the 
the details on it. You can see the number there is the 46158. I think I paid like 20 bucks for this when it was brand new. Um, but it's a sweet little reversible spinner. Um, it also has the ability to, you know, turn it from the top. Um, again, another Craftsman Made in the USA tool that's starting to appreciate in value simply because Made in the USA is no longer the default. It is now the exception to the rule for a lot of companies. But anyway, keep your eye out for these guys. They are stellar tools. Sure, there are better ones, but these have never let me down. The simple USA made ones and these little uh, sets of wrenches often show up um, in places simply because a lot of people had them, but nobody used them. Uh, let me know your, uh, your, your adventures with some of these plastic packaged craftsman sets. And with that, Doc out.